Oh no, he's dying. He has 24 beats. I'm not gonna fail at this awful game. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Wednesday Checkup. I'm holding a scalpel and I have my scrubs on. We're gonna be playing another surgery game. This time it's gonna be Amateur Surgeon. You guys requested it. Also, I have to let you know before we start, you have to come to the channel this Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time because my keto video goes live. You asked me to try keto. I did it for a full month. I vlogged, I sat down, I talked about it, all my results, everything. And for now, I guess let's get started with Amateur Surgeon. And we live, Adult Swim Games. But I guess it's all right if kids are watching. Oh, I have to hit play. Oh my God, I literally have to use a pizza cutter. Okay, please select the tongs, grab a piece of bone. And what, I gotta put his ribs together? I don't understand. Oh, got one in. There's something satisfying about fixing ribs. There's something so delicious about this. Suture him up. Oh, staples. We staple in this bad boy. Oh, are we gonna cauterize this? Ah, glass extraction. Ooh, this looks painful. All right, we gotta get the tongs to get the glass out. Oh, didn't mean to miss. Ooh, use the tongs to grab the piece slowly and cleanly. Okay, slowly. I told you guys that you shouldn't ever take out glass out of your body because you can truly hurt yourself by hard hurting your arteries. Oh no, wrong area. Now we gotta burn him. By the way, this is not how we do it. What is this? Are we vacuuming? Oh no, he's dying. He has 24 beats. I'm not gonna fail at this awful game. See if I can do it in time. Oh, come on. Give me an extra second. Did I get, seems to be. My computer just went into power save mode. How? Why? I'm gonna replay this bad boy, especially now that I know what I'm doing. Let's do this. We're gonna fix these pieces of glass, and I told you before, don't take out any object that gets inserted inside of you because, oh, come on. You can truly hurt yourself if there's any kind of cut artery behind that. By the way, we don't close most wounds with staples. This is super inaccurate. We close most wounds with sutures. If they're on the scalp, or on an area we need to close fast, then we use staples. But let's burn some stuff. Pizza cutter, pa. Whoa, oh, you need to be accurate. Ooh, we're inside. These lungs do not look accurate. I love it, we're throwing staples on his lungs. We do not leave staples inside humans' bodies. And the best part about it is we don't burn <laughs> the lungs. But for some reason, it feels good to do. He needs paint. Oh, I gotta do this quickly. Here I am talking, but you gotta actually save a life. Come on. Come on, Mikey. Oh, let's get the staples in here. Let's get the staples, the burning, and then the pain away. I just saved, excuse me, plant. I'm trying to save a life here. What are you doing, bro? Bro, back up. Back up, bro. I thought so. We just saved a life. What's up? How about you just back up a little bit, huh? My God. Some plants, they don't even know what they're doing. This guy's not even real and he's just trying to be here with me. <laughs> All right, it's 11 p.m. and I'm losing my mind, I'm sorry. Let's work on Cletus, the fetus. Wow, that porcupine has a hillbilly stuck on it. <laughs> okay, this is getting crazy. Ooh, 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 he's got a, he's got a serious little condition. Let's pull these thingies out. He's bleeding rapidly, but we're gonna patch him up. We're gonna fix them with these staples, even though it's completely inaccurate. You know, we used a cautery tool, actually. It's called an electrocautery tool in the operating room, but we only use it to stop bleeds. For example, if uh, a patient, we, we hit a little artery and it's sprinkling blood, we can use the cautery tool to help it stop bleeding instead of using a clamp. And again, I'm burning his kidney. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, we gotta go multiple incisions? Look at this. But now we have to use the tongs, not the thongs, to get these thorns out of his liver, which totally makes sense. And now we gotta burn him and his liver. I don't know why I'm burning his liver. It makes no sense medically. Gotta close him up and we're gonna be good to go. Burn. Pain away. What, you gotta go again? This dude has too much going on with him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save him. 
I don't think there's too many wounds. Wow, you gotta really be quick at this game. This is this game is no joke. I was here trying to have a good time, but this game is serious. Come on, Cletus. Cletus, come on, Cletus. I don't like losing this much. No, come on, don't don't do that. Don't give me that. You could tell I'm not a real gamer because I can't talk and play this game. I clearly need to concentrate just to rub the goo on this guy's breasts. <laughs> Dan, stop laughing. It's all good. I'm getting the pizza cutter and I'm cutting into his left lower quadrant here to get to his kidneys, which would be actually in his back, but it's okay. I'm getting the little prods out of his kidneys. I don't know how my man got prods in his kidneys. This isn't a strategy game, by the way. This is just like pure how fast I can click my mouse. As a proud family medicine doc, I have to save Cletus Roadkill. Oh, if you make a mistake, he bleeds faster. You guys are probably watching this and you're like, what is this guy doing? And how is this medically educational? It's not. Shh, he should, yo, you should be under sedation, Cletus. Yay, we saved Cletus. You know, before you go, I, I think you should click right here because I think this is a video you're really gonna like. As always, stay happy and healthy, but you know, just, just.